Fish on, fish on. That could be it, the jetty monster. Come on, yes. That's a perch. That's a pretty nice one as well. I absolutely love this and I think it's perfect for the job. Now then and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. Today I am fishing a jetty which is known for the big pike that lives underneath it. This particular fish has attacked perch that anglers have been bringing up multiple times. You guys in the comments have told me about it. I've seen it happen twice with my own eyes to two separate people on one of those occasions. I've even got some footage which I'll show you now but this pike is not afraid to attack and I have tried to catch it before but I am gonna try and catch it again. I've brought the trusty Himaway cruiser with me in the van too, so I'm going to be whipping about a bit on this today. Sometimes I can be so busy filming I forget to just enjoy myself, so halfway through the trip I'm going to take this out for a little cycle because I am on what's supposed to be a really nice cycle route. Now I don't know exactly how big this pike is, it could be £12, could be £20, but one thing's for sure is it is very aggressive. Very pale coloured as well actually, so I'll probably know it with fun. Hello, I'll probably know it if I catch it. It's actually such good fun getting down to a fishing spot on a bike. This cruiser is so comfortable as well. And we are just around the corner from the jetty now. So the lure I'm kicking things off with today is the LMAB Finesse Fillet Worm on a 3 gram jig head. I absolutely love these and this is centred as well which is really going to give me that edge. You might be wondering what's he doing trying to catch a pike with that? Well, I'm not. My plan is I'm going to try to catch a few perch first because a lot of perch do live under this jetty. You can see quite a few of them down there now and some of them do get really big so hopefully I'm going to catch a few perch. Then I'm going to go for a little cycle, a little bike ride on the cycle path, come back and then in the evening really try to catch a decent pike. There are absolutely loads of little fry here. Tiny little perch, there's got to be some fish trying to get them from underneath, surely. So what I'm doing just isn't seem to be working. I've been using those little scented worms. I've been using a crankbait for a bit and I just cannot find something that works. I mean, there's loads of fry around here. So I'm just going to try and imitate those as closely as I can and see if it works. So the closest thing I've got to these baby perch is an LMAB Kofi perch, which is actually very, very realistic. However, in these conditions of this sort of pressure, I wouldn't expect a big alert to work, but We'll see. So I'm just going to start to vary the speed I'm using this. So at first I'm just going to sort of cast and retrieve because a lot of the sort of bait fish are quite shallow. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to fish really slow right deep down on the bottom. Well, that's not really been working out for me. So I think we'll go for the deep. Just bounce it along the bottom really slowly approach. Fish on, fish on, come on. Yes, that's a perch. That's a pretty nice one as well. That is a pretty nice perch. Please don't come off. I should have had my net closer to me. That is a nice perch. Come on. And we've got it, get in. Yes, come on. Look at that. Isn't that just an absolutely beautiful perch? I've really had to work hard for it today, but that is my reward. I am so, so happy about this. Absolutely over the moon. Well, I knew today was going to be tough. The air pressure is just so much higher than normal today. However, I stuck at it. I changed tactic quite a few times and finally we got something that works. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. 
Well, it's not the huge pike we came here for, but by my standards, that is a really nice perch, especially from the shore in the Lake District. I am made up with that. So the setup I'm using for my uh, perch fishing at the moment, this is the rigged and ready fish rig 180 semi-telescopic. It's really good for the lighter weight fishing and we've got that with the RR1000 spinning reel. Fish on, fish on, come on, yes! That feels like a nice fish. Oh, it's another nice perch. Oh, it's even bigger than the last, I think. There's a pike, there's a pike, look. There's a pike staring right at it. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? I'm gonna try catch this perch and then catch the pike. But I don't want that pike to, to see my net, really. Oh, pike's gone, but we've got the perch. Well, I actually can't believe how clearly I saw that pike coming in and chasing this perch, but it's another nice one. Look at that. I mean, it's not huge, but it's definitely not small. Oh, I just love a Lake District perch. This LMAB Kofi perch is just putting in an absolute shift. Well, another perch and what a fish. I mean, that pike definitely wasn't the big mama we're after, it was a lot smaller. It was maybe only about five pound, but still cool to see it chasing that one. I think now things are really starting to heat up a bit. I'm gonna take a little break, go for a quick cycle around, come back, get the pike rod set up and see if we can't nail a fish. Hopefully the big one that lives under this jetty. Something I wanna show you, look at this. I've got a mini little throttle here. Don't even have to pedal. Off we go. But I will pedal because I want to cover a bit of ground. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on bikes, but one thing I can confidently say is having an electric bike if you're a fisherman on the move is an absolute game changer. Wow, just look at this. I mean, it's nice to have a break as well sometimes because I put a lot of pressure on myself fishing. Well, what a place to stop off. I think this is as far as we'll go and then we'll get back to the fishing. Well, we are back from our little cycle and that was great fun. To be honest, I did need a bit of a break. It has been a long, long few hours casting for those fish, but now we're back. Now we're gonna get the pike set up sorted and hopefully we're gonna catch one. So the setup I'm using for the pike fishing today, rigged and ready Predator, much heavier braid, RR3000, and then down to the business end. I think this is a Fox Rage replicant wounded perch. I absolutely love this and I think it's perfect for the job. I've used this in a similar situation before, but we'll have a few casts and then we'll talk to you about that. I think we will start right where that pike followed us in. Even though that pike was only a quarter of the size of the big one that I've been after, it would still be nice to see on the bank. So the pike around this jetty definitely eat perch quite a lot and I know that for a fact. So that's why I've gone for this. Seems like the intuitive choice, wounded perch, ultra realistic. I've been in a situation before actually on this lake at another place where a perch has been snatched by a pike and then I brought it in. I'll show you that footage now. Got it. Ooh, that's a big perch that. A pike's got it. A pike's got it. Whoa, Georgia, come and look at this quick. A big pike has got it. That's a monster. Look over here. Oh, a big pike has just grabbed my perch. Oh, it's, it's come off. It's let go. Oh, that was a massive pike. So look at that. This perch has just been absolutely nailed. I have never in my life have that happen to me. It has been crunched and that's a pretty big perch as well. Let's get. And why I've chosen to show you that footage is because I went back with this very lure to try catch the fish that took that one and it worked. I caught one.
fish, fish, fish. Whoa, whoa, there it is, there it is. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh my days. Ooh. It's hardly hooked. Oh, it's not the big one that I thought it was, but sorry. You need a lift. Yes, please, if you can. <laughs> that would be massively helpful. <laughs> oh, have you got it there? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for no that. Worries, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Down there, are you bringing him up? I'll bring him up. That's what that's for there. <laughs> now, how's about this for the first pike of the season? I've waited all summer for this. And there we have it. it. Wasn't quite as big as I thought it was. I'm not sure if this is the one that attacked my perch bringing it in the other day, but I think it could be. And that is the success I'm trying to replicate today, but hopefully on a much bigger scale because the pike in here that I'm after is a big one. Fish on, fish on. That could be it, the jetty monster. No way. No way, this feels like a nice one. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, I really thought that was a big pike as well. <laughs> oh my days, I'm such an idiot. It well and truly had me sold. It had me sold. <laughs> oh well, win some, you lose some, don't you? Well, it's not the first time I tried to catch that fish and it won't be the last, but to be fair, it could be anywhere. This is such a huge lake. Hope you've enjoyed the video regardless. Please drop a like if you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And most importantly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you down the road.